Okay guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, we're going to basically go through the Halloween event and teach you guys how to beat it. And basically, you get these items down here. I got mushrooms, green goo, and mossy high. You could exchange them for like cosmetics and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to go through all the bosses, the mobs, and basically how, how to beat this dungeon. But before we start the video, only a small percentage of my viewers are subscribed. So if you would please hit that subscribe button because I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. It would be amazing if we do reach that goal. Also, a quick shout out to our channel members. Thank you and let's actually get started now. Alright, now that you're in the dungeon, I recommend you pick Mage because Mage has more range than Warrior. Because Mage has two long range spells, this spell and this spell. And then Warrior only has the rending slice as a range spell the other spells are too little in range so basically in the beginning you want to go to this first area like the door to the right and then eventually go to the second door but you have to basically collect materials to put on the altar but yeah let's get started all right by the way i recommend you play with at least two people because it's a lot easier all right in the first room you have to just kill the mobs that come out and then eventually a boss will spawn What are these things? They look like toads, but weird. Are they zombies? What the heck? Lurk. Yeah, as you can see, I got the mossy hide from killing a mob. Like, you just get random dropped items. You don't really need a healer because you have way too much time. I don't think the item drop rates are that high. I haven't seen anything else besides those two items. Okay, a celestial orb. And then that was the last mob, so the boss spawns. This is pretty much the same boss as the ogre from, uh, what was that place called? Yokai Peak. He has pretty much, like, most of the same, uh, attack animations. Basically, this ding. This is literally green, uh, Ninjago right now, bro. <laughs> bro. Oh god, I'm dead. No, I'm not. What the heck? Okay, but this guy's really easy, so. I like it, Kaji. It's fine to die, because... You have way too much time and they like have like no health so yeah there we go and he dropped indirect dust and hex spell or whatever whatever after you beat the boss you get this log you have to bring it to the altar and then you could just enter the cave the person that has a log has to go to the altar but the person without the item could just go to the next area straight up so since i have the log i have to go over here to this altar and put it and my teammate can Go to the cave first. Also, you could just ignore the mobs inside the cave and go straight for the boss room. Because they're gonna get aggroed and brought to the boss room anyway, so there's no point in just killing them when you just see them. As you can see, she brought all of them to the boss room, and you could just attack the these cocoons while killing the mobs. So there's no point in just targeting the mobs in the beginning. It's a waste of time. I recommend you hit at least two cocoons at the same time because it will be faster. Okay, and that's both of them gone. And then the boss has woken up. This guy's ding is like, his patterns are really simple. He kind of moves around a bit, but that should be fine. Also, if you're playing warrior, you could actually swing, but I don't re really recommend warrior because warrior doesn't have as much range. Okay, by the way, don't use the ball attack. It's just just because it has more range is not better because it does like double the damage. Well, this spell does double the damage, the square spell. It does 120k, while the ball spell does only 60 something k. It has less range though, so you have to watch out. But it does way more damage. Also, the class doesn't really matter. You can play warrior if you want. But just saying warrior isn't that good as mage, but yeah all right this is pretty much the perks of mage you could just hit him from far away all right die okay there we go he dropped dorney vines cursed skull and green goo all right let's go to the next area now by the way a tip to get out of this room quickly there's like a cage or gate thingy you could just go over here and then that's the exit all right the next area which is over here it's actually a maze so 
basically, you could sometimes see the light start in the sky that tells you where the gems are. You're supposed to collect four gems, so... Yeah, there's a golden light over there, so that's the first area where you have to go. I'm gonna see if I could... if this is like the right direction. I don't know. Seems to be a dead end, I don't know. Is it? I don't think... okay, I don't think it's a dead end. Also, ignore these mobs, they, they have like a million health, so... Yeah, this is a dead end, okay. Okay, the maze should be the same every time, okay. I think the gem is right here, yup. This is the first gem. You could just hold it and then you get the gem. But don't die with the gem, I think, I don't know. Afterwards, you, you have to bring the gem to the middle. To a chest right here. Don't get killed. And then you put it in, nice. And then you could go to the next area, as you can see, there's a green glow up there. Just make your way towards the mage. You could just ignore the mobs, actually, so... Let's rock a heal spell and then get over. I don't know if these mobs drop items. I don't want to waste time killing them. Okay, the green gem should be here. And then pick it up. Here we go. And then once you get all four gems on the chest, the chest will open. And you could just ignore the mobs. Like, all the walls will be gone, so... I think it's over here. You see? I'm kinda lost, bro. Okay, I'm- <laughs> I'm so lost. Oh no. Oh! I saw her healing thing. Okay. It's right here. Okay. Yeah, that's the last chest. Alright, got the pumpkin. And now we just have to head to the exit. Oh, the exit's right there. Okay. If you can't find this exit, like, the person without the thing should reset, and then you could just teleport over. I don't know if you, what happens if you die with the thing, though. I don't think it will remove from your inventory. It's too risky to try, so... Whatever, after you put the thing in, a boss will spawn, the final boss. Alright, let's get ready. Undead Pumpkin Lord, don't attack him, he has like an animation he needs to do. Okay, now I think you could damage him, yup. Okay. Alright, this boss is also really easy. As you can see, we have so much time left. Oh my god, he spawned in mobs. Oh no. I don't- do they drop stuff? I don't think they drop anything. Okay, they don't drop anything. Oh my god, I'm lagging so hard though. Yeah, basically this is the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. It was a bit short, because this guide is kind of really easy. But, yeah. After you kill the boss, he should drop some items for you. And you get, if you beat it for the first time, you get a title. Yes, 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 yes.